So, this is the NCAA Women's Basketball first four and the women's the NIT first round games, two of each. And I'm going to talk about the games. My thoughts and names. So, Mississippi State beat Illinois 50, 70, 56. Mississippi State was the 11, and Illinois was the 11 first four. And the winner played Crane. Mississippi State's going to play Crane on, on Friday on ESPN News. And Mississippi State is a good team. They were, unre- they were not respected as much. Or they thought, and they thought they should have not been a first four team, and they were right on the. And I didn't think they would be a first four team, but I mean they weren't a SEC though. Was, oh, not as respected though. So they go, and it wasn't that as great of a SEC as it used to be. Rankings, but they go, and then Illinois, they were good. Illinois was a really good team. They were 22 and 9. And I thought just because they were on the bubble of not being ranked in the um, top 25, they were like on the bottom of like teams. Kind of. And then they were in like the bubble. And it was like, ooh. Two teams are un- like, didn't get enough respect, but Mississippi State had more motivation to prove that they're not a first four team. And they went 70 56. In the women's IT, I thought Nebraska would win. And Nebraska did win because they were at home. It was just a slow grind. It was basically like Mississippi, Nebraska won by seven in the first quarter. And then they lost by a point in the second quarter. Lost by a point in the fourth. And won by four in the third. So really, they, it was just a slow grind. Out. And Nebraska ends up winning on the Big Ten plus. I'm surprised that game didn't go on um, Big Ten Network. You know, this game. Because there's nothing. They didn't show nothing on um, TV. But last second call. But whatever, I guess. And this game. I mean, they had a game already on there. For the ACC Network. But it's a football game. But might have, should have probably went on um, Body Sports Region Networks or Extra Channels or something like that. You know. But whatever. Um. Might not, but I'm not surprised that Syracuse blew him out. It wasn't like a slow, it was just a slow, it was just a 12 point um, second quarter lead win and a nine point. It was just a, like a 10 point win. They just slowly dominated each quarter, Dom- did a little domination each quarter. It wasn't a huge, huge domination, but it was just enough to say, wow. You know, it's like, wow, they're by 20 already. Jeez. Yeah, it was pretty much just like that point. Like from when I was looking at the score, because I don't have AC or extra. Chill. Just one of those things where it was like 90, like just 40, 30 points. I'm like, well, yeah, it was like 12, 10, 15 point one. I'm like, oh well, yeah, I can't say it's going to win. And Sigurd and Southern, I was watching that one, and it was a really good game. Sigurd and just had the domination over Southern. In that second quarter, they just really dominated Sacred Heart or Southern. In that, and they just put that one way in the second, in the in their end tomorrow. You have ESPN three it has uh, the women's nineteens that aren't the every every woman's nit game that is not ACC SEC. Um, Big East, Big 12, Mountain West, West Coast Conference, and the Pac-12, the ACC, ESPN has breaks to broadcast them, it seems, but they're on AC number extra, the SEC games are broadcast on SEC number plus, the, um, Big 12 games are on ESPN Plus, but ESPN says rates. The Big Eats games, are, the home games for Big Eats are in Full Hoops. And then the um, Pac 12 is on Pac 12 Plus. Or um, Pac 12 um, Network. They might be on Pac 12 Network or Pac 12 um, 
network or um, like the regional pet to networks or if there's nothing on for that for that um, school on like a supo or a baseball game or like a lacrosse game or something they put into it you know or like you know stuff like that you know and then um Mount West and West Coast Conference teams are on Mount West and West Coast Conference network websites or somewhere on Watch Stadium as well put on Watch Stadium as well but anyways um Penn and Richmond is playing tomorrow which I think could which I think Richmond has it because Penn's good but I don't think Penn's a great team this goes Richmond Wake Forest are power 5 and Wake Morgan City is not power 5 so the Wake wins. Same with Florida. Florida's a power five. I think they'll beat Wofford. Bowling Green, yeah, they should be able to beat Liberty. It's a good power. It's a good not power five team. Two really good teams. But Liberty looks kind of weak though, against teams that are better than them, like Florida Gulf Coast. Look at that. And Bowling Green is better than Liberty, so I think the Bowling Green will look stronger. Belmont look a little weak in the um, conference tournament game. Championship. So Ball State, I think, has it. St. John's and Purdue. St. John's is still struggling. You know, but also Purdue. They've been playing good, but they've been... I mean, they're, like, on the edge. Yeah, so I can see that. I don't know. I mean, Purdue, I think, could win. But St. John's depends on how much momentum they have won in the turn. Which I think can't... No, these is two good teams. They're right. Evenly matched, but I think just because Kansas City's at home, I think they win. Drexel and Fordham. Yeah, Fordham's part of the A10, and the A10 is pretty good league for mid major league, so I say Fordham wins. Scene Hall. Yeah, they had the experience of playing in the WNIT last year, and they went all the way to fight the, um, the championship game against them in South Coast State, the winners, so Scene Hall. Should win that one. Thompson Harvard. Harvard, I see winning that one. They're a little bit stronger in their home. That's so surprising. Northern Iowa is a really good Missouri Valley Conference. Not a team. There's four that made the, um, the, the good. The, there's five teams that could have made it. I thought like Drake, Northern Iowa, Belmont, Missouri State, Indiana State. Or Illinois State, excuse me. Illinois State, Missouri State, Northern Iowa. Belmont and Drake, those five would make it. Um, one would make win the NCAA, make it the NCAA tournament. One, four of the four would make the WNIT. And Northern Iowa is gonna. I think they have strong over Colorado State. Utah and Texas Tech. Yeah, just because Texas Tech's at home, I think they'll win. Um, Clemson should be a high point. They're pretty evenly matched, but look, Clemson par five have more playing tougher teams. Even though the same record. So I think Clemson wins. Steve Austin should be Texas State. They got Texas State got blown by James Madison in the first in the final of the Sun Belt Championship. In the Sun Belt Championship tournament final, Arkansas is a better team over Louisiana Tech. Arkansas, I think, kind of got snubbed for the f- NCAA's. I think, I think so. The record's two and twelve, and they got snubbed. I think they got snubbed. They should have been in the first four. The, like 11 or 12 seed, but they got snubbed, I mean. They really did. Missouri, I mean, this is tough. I mean, Illinois State could beat Missouri. But also, Missouri could beat Illinois State, though, so. It's going to be a dog fight right there. Both teams could beat each other up. Now, I mean, uh, I mean, Little Rock and SMU. Now, SMU is a good squad. But in the American, but Little Rock is good as well. But I mean, Little Rock does not play the game where they shoot a lot of threes. They shoot a lot of their games a lot of twos. The mid-range game is really strong in their layups. They, they know what to do. I mean, they're playing their strengths a lot of times. And if they get down where they shoot a lot of threes, it's going to be hard for them to come back. And are they motivated? They weren't playing their race in the final of the OAC tournament. So we'll see, I mean, and then Jackson and Memphis, Jackson, if they feel, if they were motivated and, and you know, like they were in the sweat, like blowing teams out, 
I think it could be like a, cl a good close game under Jack Stigman's in surprise and advances on the road upsets them. We'll see. Green Bay should beat Niagara pretty easily. Now it's in Tennessee Tech. Tennessee Tech's, I think, a better first four team than Mammoth is. Mammoth beat the first three seeds, so on a hot streak, but luck my, I think their luck will probably run out. Long Beach and San Diego. I think Long Beach could beat San Diego. Long Beach is a better team than San Diego's. Long Beach got up in the conference tournament championship against Hawaii, but... Or in the... And actually, Long Beach got in the semis to Hawaii, but... It is what it is, I mean. San Diego's a good team in the... In the West Coast Conference, but in a good West Coast Conference, because there's San Diego, San Francisco, and BYU in there. But it's always what it is. I mean, Northern Arizona, New Mexico. Northern Arizona, I mean, the big sky's not really the strongest league, and Mount West is a little bit better, so I think New Mexico beats them. Washington, I say, beats San Francisco. I mean, they've been playing some more tougher squads. Like, there's been a bunch, because they play a bunch of ranked teams. They played Stanford, they played Utah, they played UCLA. They played Colorado. They played Arizona. They're five ranked team. They also played a really good Washington State team. So, and they've also played um Oregon, who's also in the NIT as well. So, or the WNIT. So, yeah. So, yeah, so I mean, so a lot of good matchups here in the WNIT in the women. So, I'm gonna watch a bunch of WNIT tomorrow, because there's a bunch of WNIT and see my bracket. And I picked it, there's a WNIT bracket change on um, NCAW. Or NCAW. There's 14 people in it. So, I'm gonna see if I'm right in this bracket prediction. Who wins um, the WNIT? Um, I have, I believe it's UMass over Arkansas. So we'll see though if that goes right. Cause there's some trap games for both these Liberty and Bowling Green. That's a good game, but it's like both teams like don't like it's a good game, but like both that should be like a Super Sixteen or great or matchup or something. Like that. Or something like that. It should not be like a first round. That's like a depth. That's like a good game, but it's like maybe it's like an eight nine type matchup. Because one of those games, where it's like, like, are you you're really making them play the first round? But maybe I don't know. Maybe it's to get maybe it's like a one that gets people to tune in to the one's empty type game. I could see that. Belmont Ball State feels like one of those games as well in the WNIT. It feels like one of those games. Because both those teams are evenly matched. Right there. Same with Gwichita State, Kansas State. Both those teams are evenly matched. Also, it's going to be a trap game, I think, right there. Um, and then we have... Jack State Memphis could be a, a good big game. I don't know, some of these games are obvious good games or like trap games for both teams. And same in the WNIT, we have Boston University running in. That's a good game. That's going to be a really good game. But both of those teams, I feel bad for the loser because like the winner could actually go kind of far, a little bit farther in there. But the loser is, it's going to be like a, one of those matchups. It's like, really? You're playing first round. Wow. Like, well, like, it's one of those matchups you feel bad for the winner. You feel bad because you want, like, I mean, you feel bad. I mean, like, it's one of those games, like, they won a couple games. And, like, oh, oh, they just played a really tough opponent, like, farther in the tournament. No, like, both these teams got screwed first round. Playing a really tough game first round. And it's like, wow. Look like that seems. Western Kentucky, Kansas, yeah, I mean, both those teams are even, but it's like, Kansas is a little bit better, actually. Mass should be able to beat Albany. Solidly. 
I mean, it depends on how many comes up motivated. If they're sluggish game against them. Vermont in the conference championship. In Columbia. Are they going to be motivated after the loss to um, Harvard in the um, semis? Come and prove like. Well, we stumbled up. We messed up script big time. You know, if we, if Columbia would have beat Harvard in the final or in the semis, I think Columbia could make it in as a first four eleven seed. But I mean, but I think they, if they're motivated and last year they made it to like the I believe they made the quarters like the super um or the grade eight they did so I could see Columbia winning this thing. Or not winning it, but like going pretty solid far. Like their experience last year. And that depends on if they're motivated. Some of these teams, like, are they motivated to play in the WNIT? Like some of these, like, lower power fives. Like, like, are, like these teams that might have gotten snubbed for the NCAAs. Like, are you more motivated? Or are you like, let's prove, let's show everyone why we should have been in the NCAA tournament? You're making like a really deep. WNIT run and, and stuff like that. Like they'll make like grade eight, like the f last four. You know, like make like the semis, the quarters, like the final, like the grade, eight, like the final four, or in the ch like runs like that. Like these really good power fives or these mid majors, or some of these mid majors maybe like UMass or. We should have won the conference tournament championship. Beat them. Should have beat St. Louis. Or we were used as we're gonna feel that as our motivation. Like we need to we need to prove why we should have been. And that's not, not just a fluke that we lost to St. Louis. Like we actually need to prove it. Some of these teams like prove it. You know these power fives that didn't make the NCAA tournament like, or bubble teams or. Like, you need to prove that, like, like for example, um, like not, not necessarily like Kansas City, Texas, like, like Arkansas, a team like that. Like, let's prove why we're really solid and deserve to be in the uh, NCAA tournament. We should have been in the NCAA tournament over a team, you know, over some of these teams, you know. And yeah, less losses, less wins, you know, than us. You know, prove why we should have been in there, and like use it as motivation. And then some of these like mid majors, like Green Bay and stuff like that, or some of these mid majors, like really good mid majors that have a shot to win the NCAA tournament or going to the NCAA tournament. It's like use it as motivation, you know. Because like UMass could have actually upset someone in the, in the round of thirty in their first round. I could have actually seen that, you know. You know, so. And Arkansas, I believe, could have beat, kept some eyes on there in the first round. You know, if they are a makeup, so. You know, just use that as, like, motivation. Like, I guess, like, the coach. Like, the coach is going to use this as motivation. And then the players can use it as motivation to prove it. To, like, win. Because it depends, like, some of these tournaments, like, I think, you know, some of the players might be, we didn't make the NCAA tournament, but we're going to use the WNIT run as motivation to, so that, to prove why we should have been in the NCAA tournament. And I should go pretty far in the NIT tournament. And then some of these teams are, like, not... Or you didn't win your conference tournament and then prove it's not a fluke. But I won far in the NC in the NI WNIT UMass. Like a team make that prove why we should have gone far in the in the we should have won the conference tournament and a chance to upset some of the NCAAs. You know? Which they which I believe they could have. And use that as motivation. Or you know, stuff like that, you know. Or you know, like a team like Seen Hall. We lost last year in the NWNIT tournament championship game. Let's now let's this year make a make 
and run into the WNH Championship game again. And this time, let's win it, you know? Use that loss as motivation to fuel them for the WNH Championship this year. You know what I mean? So. Then some of these teams might be like, or like a team like Arkansas could actually lose because they could be like, not motivated, you know? Like, we should have made the NCAA tournament. Like, like dang. And playing in the NIT, the WNIT, like, Mm. I mean, mm. it's the WNIT, like, I'd rather be playing the NCAA tournament right now. Mm. You know, I really don't want to play in the WNIT. So, like, there's more way to play, maybe? So, as well, so who knows, I mean. But anyways, talk to them, take care.